<clears throat> All right, y'all. So here goes the rant. I'm just gonna pick one of my top tweets or one of my recent tweets, and then just kind of expand on what I was thinking or what I was feeling when I tweeted it. So this one says something along the lines of everyone thinks that you're supposed to um, just party hard in your 20s and then the rest of your life is supposed to just be boring. But if you use your 20s to if you use your 20s to be balanced, which is building and enjoying your 20s, then the rest of your life could be lit. So what I meant by this is for some reason, people use or treat their 20s like the extended version of their childhood or like an adult version of their childhood. Right. So they just want to party and run around and, you know, be outside and be in the streets and do this and do that. And then when they're 30, they're like, oh, I'm old now. So let me just be boring and watch shows and go to work like. No, bro, like, because they think their body's going to be gone. They think their hair is going to be gone. They think, I don't know, life is just supposed to be boring, you know, because when you see 40 year olds or 50 year olds in America who basically don't do anything on a day to day, then you just think like, oh, yeah, that's part of life. That's not a part of life, bro. Like you can have friendships. You can have a social life. You can go on adventures and stuff when you're 50 years old, when you're 60 years old. You know, when I lived in Europe, I would see that a lot. You would go to the bar, you would go to like a lounge or something, and you would see friend groups of like 60 year olds. You know, you might see 60, uh, 60 year old like friend groups, maybe four or five people sitting around having drinks, telling stories and stuff, or men and women. You see it a lot. And I'm like, man, that's cool how they still have social lives. You know, in America, you're kind of just, people just, a lot of people just disappear and just, you know, become the ultimate homebody. But anyways, your 20s, you have a lot of energy and that energy you're not going to have when you're in your 30s, right? This is why you can go out, party, wake up the next day, hey, I'm good. You know, let's go get some food and just start it all over. But if you were using all that time and that Wolverine-like recovering ability, then you would be able to work all night, wake up, and then do the same thing, right? So what I think is you use those early years in your 20s to build things, right? To build, to build, to build, to build, to build. And then you could come up for a breath of air, go on a vacation, take a trip, you know, hit the club, party, whatever you need to do, and then get right back into building mode. Or, you know, and building mode looks like going to school. It looks like going to the military. It looks like learning a trade. You know, it looks like building a business, but you're just in the grind. You're in the hustle. You just head down. You're not worried about what the people next to you are doing or, you know, John got a new car or Jessica's doing this and she's dating this guy. Who gives a flying fuck, right? You're just building. You're building, you're building, you're building, you're building. And then eventually, you know, you're going to come up for a breath of fresh air, go out, come up for a breath of fresh air, go hit Europe for a month, you know? But the reason why this is important is because one day in the future, right? So you can always look at your future self and then backwards plan from there. So one day in the future, you're going to have children, right? And you would want the free time to be able to spend time with your children. Or you're going to have a, a, a wife or, you know, like a spouse or have yeah children, like I said. And you're going to want to be able to say, hey, let's go do this. Let's go do that. But you want to have the money to be able to do those things. You're going to want to have the freedom to go do those things. You're not going to have the freedom to take your wife on vacation, you know, for two months and go travel Asia because you got to work and you just started this new job because you threw away your fucking 20s, you know. So when you was 22 and you was damn near Wolverine, you could just bounce back any night from anything. And imagine not going hard, you know, like imagine not going hard. So. Uh, don't get caught up in this for y'all young folks watching this don't get caught up in that throwing away your 20s and thinking like uh, i'll be serious about life later on like nah bro be for real about your life because nobody is coming to hand you your dream life now if you're one of those people out there that don't require want much out of life don't want much out of life this is not for you you know like i know people are going to be oh everything ain't about trying to build something everything ain't about trying to get some money well, people like me want to do fly shit. Some of the people who are watching this want to do fly shit. And it requires money, right? So, another thing, too, is to have a positive um, 
relationship with money and with building things. Because when you build companies, what you're really doing is helping people. You're providing solutions to problems. So if you go hard building a company, you go hard building this or building that, you're really just helping other people out in exchange for a few bucks. Hey, I'm willing to help you lose 30 pounds. You give me, you know, $1,000. Who wouldn't want to trade $1,000 for 30 pounds? Everybody would. So you can help a thousand people lose 30 pounds. There goes a million dollars. Now, what you need to do is go build the company that's going to, one, make them aware of who you are and what you can do. And then two, you need to go get the research so you can find the most efficient way to do this. So look at building like a way to help other people and then you can put your money away. So if you live and build your life this way, with starting with freedom, right? Like don't go buy toys and all that stuff too early. You start with getting some freedom. All right, I got all day to do nothing. Now let me figure out how I'm gonna provide and finance myself. How am I gonna do that? Helping people lose 30 pounds. I'm the lose 30 pounds specialist type guy, right? Now you get a client, there's $1,000. There's half your bills for the month, right? Maybe you get three clients for the month, there goes your bills. Now you can build from there, right? But if you don't put freedom first, if you put the shiny things first, you get your three clients and now you're like, ah, damn, well, that's enough for my $1,200 truck payment. Plus I gotta pay this girl that I'm dating. I gotta pay her this and I gotta do it. No, bro, put your freedom first, right? Keep your cost of living low so you can keep firing. You can keep, you can stay on the attack mode. Your cost of living is low and you get some extra bread because you signed some extra clients in this hypothetical situation, and guess what? You could double down on your advertisements now, right? And hopefully that brings you 14 new clients this month versus the six you got last month because you took that extra money and put it into advertisements, right? Because you paid this guy to give you a shout out or a review or whatever the case is, or you paid these influencers to make a video about you, right? Or you swapped out this product with this product you know you selling blenders for the for the, for smoothies and something but you need a better product so you take the extra money you put it back into the company to build a better product so now when people give you organic reviews they're genuinely saying how good of a product you have so you want to use your 20s to build man to figure things out right you want to figure things out you don't want to be 32 33 figuring out how are you going to make money, right? You, you, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I should go back to school, right? No, man, at that point, you should be, I use my eight, because time's going to pass regardless. From 18 to 22, those four years are very important. Now, that time's going to pass regardless whether you're in the military, learning a trade, working to launch a business, or in college. Those four years are going to pass. So how important is it that you just are free all day, every day while your friends go do these things just so you can be ready for the party, just so you can chase the girls? Come on, bro. Be for real. The time is going to pass regardless. You might as well build something, right? So if you look at life like that, if you hear me out on what I'm saying, you you go hard while you're young so you can, you know, just chill out for the rest of your life, bro. You're not trying to be 40 sweating to make a dollar. You're not going to be 50 sweating to make a dollar. At that point, you would have accumulated so much money that your money makes you money. Right? But you're not going to get to that point if you barely start accumulating the money when you're 35. Versus the other person who start accumulating all their money when they were 20. They got a 15-year head start on you. They got 15 years of compounding on you. They got 15 years of building, of learning, of failing, of trying on you. You just want to get serious at 35 because, yeah, you know, YOLO, you could die tomorrow. But what if you don't? You know what I'm saying? So, you go hard while you're young. You go hard. It's still going to be times for you to, you know, turn that shit off and just kick back. Go on a trip with your girl. Go do this. Go do that. You know, go lay in the, in the on a, I don't know, on a boat or something. There's going to be times for that. But while you're young and you got that Wolverine-like ability to bounce back, go hard, bro. Why not? Right? 
So nobody's coming to hand you your dream life. You're never going to get a knock at a door like, hey, here's that Ferrari you wanted, bro. Big ass mansion, here you go, bro. Nobody's coming to do that for you, right? You got to build that yourself. So if you into, you know, nice things, you want nice things, you want a nice life, you want to travel the world, you want to be able to look out for your your family, your siblings, your parents, you want to be able to give, like, you know, you want to be able to buy nice gifts on Christmas, that shit requires money, and money requires you to build things, especially things that help people. The more people you can help, the more money you make. So the people who aren't building things or the people who aren't trying to help people, they usually don't got no money because they only think about themselves, right? So as long as there's problems to be solved in this world, there's going to be an opportunity to make money. Matter of fact, you could help somebody for free, document it at all, and then use that as evidence that you know what you're doing to charge the next person, if you go what I mean. So how do you make money? You solve problems. You need to figure that out while you're young. All right, rant complete. I'm out.